Fear of the dark is all too common amongst people, especially children. Many of us struggle to understand why we once feared the dark or still do. At some point it hits us. It isn't the dark itself that we're afraid of. It's what we fear lies in the dark. Whether we are inside or outside, an absence of light makes us feel unsafe. It is why as children we use night lights, as if that little bit of light will keep us safe at night, so that our eyes could better see what shadows really were in our rooms. As adults we come to terms that our fears are nothing more than nonsensical and imaginative delusions. That monsters are nothing but stories and fable. There was no creep under the bed or freak in the closet that would come and snag us away once we drifted to sleep. Or perhaps we just stopped caring if it would happen. No matter what we think, our instinctual fears are there for a reason. Think back to when you were younger, and if you lived anywhere that had a staircase, more specifically a staircase with a light switch at the bottom of it, you know you have to turn off the light switch when you head upstairs and you never wanted to. Because the moment you did, you felt an unnerving presence always right there next to you in that darkness. So you'd run as fast as you could up those stairs to the safety of the light. Because you believed that once you were there in the light, that whatever monster was there with you could no longer get you. For whatever reason, you believed the monster only ever stayed at the bottom of the stairs like it was bound to that universal rule. You went to bed, still a little disturbed, but felt safe tucked away into the comforting blankets and bedsheets. Believing the monster could not get to you, for you thought it lives at the bottom of the stairs. Take a moment to think about all the times you were brave enough to chance glances behind you as you ran up those stairs, never long enough to stare or get a definitive look at what monster might be behind you, just long enough for your fear to cause your gaze to turn around so that you might not trip on the way up, because surely then it would be over for you if you did. After a while, perhaps you started making a game out of it, growing daring enough to set yourself up at the light switch like an Olympian waiting for the starting gun, running up those stairs even faster than before and crashing onto the floor upstairs, watching, listening to see how much faster you were than the monster. But you never saw it come to the top. Never heard it climb the stairs up after you. For a moment, you thought the monster never existed, that all of your running was surely for nothing. But you thought, what if it was just playing a game with me as well? Waiting for me to let my guard down so that it could get me. And so you continued to run up those stairs for quite some time. Eventually, you stopped running. You grew curious, you wanted to test the waters and see if there were any sharks swimming around. Day after day, you gradually slowed the pace at which you ran up those stairs. What once was a sprint was now a light jog. Day after day, you constantly checked behind you as you climbed those stairs, never finding any monster chasing or stalking after you. That light jog turned into a quick walk, your ears having since long forgotten the sounds of your feet thudding against the stairs as you rushed to safety. With every passing day, you felt the sense of fear and danger that you knew so well slowly disappear. You start to stare down the stairs once you reach the top, expecting to see something. You don't know why, but you want to see something. Some kind of evidence to justify your actions. Months and years go by, and you find yourself now walking up those dark stairs. The fear you once felt as a child no more than a mere and easy-to-ignore feeling of discomfort. It now feels as if you've been fearing over nothing. That there truly was no monster that would chase you up those stairs when you turned those lights off. You can now walk up those stairs with unwavering courage, never feeling the need to check behind your back at any point in the journey. Countless days of the same trip, Walking normally up those dark stairs into the light made your once vigilant nature fade. But you forgot. 
those instinctual fears are always there for a reason. You never thought that one day you might hear the sound of another pair of feet following up after you. You think back to when you were younger. What if they were just waiting for me to let my guard down? You turn back around expecting to see nothing. It is then you are grimly reminded of the reason you ran up those stairs all those years ago. For it lives at the bottom of the stairs.